All right. What we're doing this morning, I'm going to show you one of the multi uses of these cane kettles. Of course, you know, their main thing was to uh, cook down syrup, sugar cane, make the sweets for the crackers. But used them for a lot more than just making cane syrup. Preserving their meat, frying it up, like I told you on my last video. Well, what we're doing this morning, I just got back from a job I did up in southwest Georgia. While I was there, I picked me up a bushel of green peanuts. So I'm going to boil me up some peanuts. Got a bushel, about 50 pounds of green peanuts. I'm going to boil them up and bag them up, and I'll put them in the freezer. Now, my grandma, when they cook them down like this, they had to can them because, you know, they didn't have no refrigeration. But uh, we'll go through the process, kind of explain to you. It's real simple. But uh, like I said, these kettles, they had a lot more uses than just let's make some syrup sit around all year. Little crackers, they were pretty um, recyclable. They were some of the first green people. Right? You know, everybody talking about now, oh, we got to go green, got to go green. Well, that was 100 years ago. They were doing it. You know, like that wood I just put in there, that's all my scraps from a, a job I did. I don't throw it away. I keep it, use the cook. Cook my peanuts, cook my syrup, it's not wasted. All right, I'll be back in a little bit when things get, water gets to boil and we'll put the peanuts on. All right, that didn't take too awful long. Get this water boiling. Now I'm gonna put my salt in. I like to put a pound to the bushel. I don't want them too salty, but they gotta have some salt in them. This is my blood pressure doctor knew I was eating these things. He probably have a fit. I'll, I'll be slow with it. I like to put it in there like that so it uh, breaks down better. There's your, that's a, called a bushel of peanuts. Keep this, might have a use for it one day. Never know. Put some onions in it after the winter garden storm. Something. You don't need to throw it away. Good way to get your glasses clean. All right, the process has started. Peanuts are in. Water's good and hot. In a couple hours, we're gonna have us about 50 pounds of bowl of peanuts. Well, that's about 15 minutes since I put them on. You can see just a little bit of wood. This old cooker gets pretty dad blasted hot, pretty quick. It won't take long at this rate. I probably use about a 
wheelbarrow full of wood to cook these peanuts and it's all scrap so that's some of that um, cracker recycling I'm talking about this cooker was built out of uh, road brick these these brick were a brick road here in the area for probably 75 80 years they took them up to put the asphalt down I got a hold of these old brick they're bigger than normal brick a lot stronger so I put them to good use give them a new life all right we'll be back in a little bit all right you see how that steams coming up off of that pot there now that's when you when you're cooking syrup that's what that's how this system works it turns the water into steam cooking it out of the cane juice and what's left of course then is your pure sugar you know which makes your your syrup now like these peanuts we're just boiling them you know but i'm just showing you how the, the it's the design of the kettle it's uh like an old world war one army helmet and uh it, it it's small at the bottom big at the top and it gives it more surface i believe to turn the uh water into into steam vapor and get rid of it but these peanuts they're going at it it won't be much longer all right the other thing these kettles were used for back in the day you know in florida there's no uh, salt mines, no salt places. So they would take and set these kettles up on the beach and fill them with salt water, ocean water, and just boil it and boil it. And when they get through boiling it all down, they had their salt for meat preserving and cooking with and what have you. But uh, these old kettles, they had a lot of uses, a lot of uses. Kind of whatever the fella might think of he could use it for. I always thought it'd be good for uh, doing the cannon in it you know for a hot water bath do your cannon for your vegetables out of your garden your your meat that you want to can of course meat needs to be pressure cooked but you could do your all your vegetable cannon in it for sure I just walked up on the hill to get some water to wash my bucket out and I seen how pretty it looked with the steam coming off the kettle and the smoke coming out the chimney it uh, j just uh, Look real nice to me. It's too bad this ain't smell of vision because you could start to smell them peanuts cooking and smelling that wood burning smoke. Ooh, ain't nothing like it.